The other day, folks, I was contacted about this tent here. I had an individual asking if I had any experience with it. This is the Alps Mountaineering Trail TP two-person tent. I had not. I actually haven't heard of this tent. So I went out looking. I discovered that it's a teepee tent, a pyramid tent, which I love. I love that style of tent, that style of shelter. Alps Mountaineering, just in case you don't know, is a company that's primarily focused on budget-oriented shelters. They do make other products, but their claim to fame are their tents. Their quality is generally good, and their prices are generally fair. The weight of this tent is three pounds, 10 ounces. Now that sounds pretty good for a two-person tent, but that is deceptive. This is a trekking pole tent, so you have to add your own trekking pole to set this up because no pole is included. So you can see what I'm talking about there. It's not really three pounds, 10 ounces. It's three pounds, 10 ounces plus your trekking pole. I am getting ahead of myself, so let's take a second here and let's do a component breakdown. Starting with the storage bag, it has two compression straps along with a handle here. You have a draw pull at the top. Talking about this for a second, the dimensions for this, this is 16 inches long, six and a half inches wide, so it's not too bad. With this being a trekking pole tent, here is a cap for your pole. Inside of this, we have some tent stakes and also guy lines. Also, we have some repair fabric. In addition to those components, you have the body and the fly. They are integrated. That's right, folks. This is a single wall tent. I know what you're thinking, everyone. Because of that fact alone, you're thinking about turning off this video. Don't do that. Don't go yet. Let's check it out together. So far with the setup process, everything is looking good here. One thing I've noticed is that for each of the stakeout points, you have a metal ring. That's a nice touch. And with each of these stakeout points, they are adjustable. As you all can see, the tent has been set up. All in all, that was a very easy process. Basically, you just go around the perimeter, staking it out, open up the door, go inside, insert the pole, and there you go. Talking about the door for a second, both panels can be rolled back if you want. On the body, you have three vents, one, two, and three. And at the top of the tent, you have a loop, so you could set this up without a pole if you have the right placement. Let's say that you set up underneath the tree and there's a limb sticking out. In the right situation, you can tie to that and set this up. Going to the body, you have two YKK zippers. From here, you can go into the inside of the tent, and that's where things get interesting. In the middle of the floor, you have a cutout that locks your trekking pole into place. That way, if you're rolling around at nighttime, you can't knock it out easily. The tent does feature a bathtub floor. There are no pockets on the inside of this tent. And when you're looking at the shape, it's rather strange. Now that we've taken a look at the inside and the outside of the tent, let's go over some stats real quick. This is a three season tent and a three season tent only. The company claims it is a two person tent, but we'll come back to that in just a second. This is a non freestanding tent, which means that it has to be staked out for it to stand up. If you remove the stakes, it will fall over. It is a single wall tent, meaning the fly and the body are one and they cannot be separated. There is one version of this tent and that's the two person version, which you see here. It is available in these colors blue and white. Again, everyone, the weight is three pounds, 10 ounces with no pole. And already we talked about the store dimensions. Now let's talk about the dimensions of the tent itself. Instead of showing you with the tent, I'll have to show you all a picture for it to make sense because the shape of this is rather odd. It is seven feet long, six feet, four inches wide. But before you go to the taper, you're looking at four feet, four inches. The tent features a center height of 53 inches. And when it comes to the materials, you're looking at a 75 denier, 185T polyester, and it features a 1500 millimeter hydrostatic head rating. The tent features a polyester mesh and a polyester taffeta floor. All of the seams are taped. You have aluminum stakes. And last labor one, the retail price is 150 bucks, but I did pick this up for 112 on Amazon. After looking at the dimensions of this tent with a tape measure, I would say this is not a two person tent. This is a, more than anything, a one person and a dog, one person and their gear, that's about it. If the two individuals were rather short, you can get one on each side going towards that point to work. Otherwise, it just doesn't make any sense. The tent is simply too small. On paper, the dimensions sound good, but because of the steepness of the walls, this tent is rather small. So let me go ahead and stop here for now. What do you all think about this tent? For the price, the weight, 
the design. What do you all think about this? Do you think this is going to be a winner? Well, here are my thoughts about this tent so far. Overall, the setup process is fairly easy. If you have set up a TP tent before, this is nothing new, nothing different. The overall quality of this looks to be fairly good. I don't see any issues when it comes to seam work or anything like that. The price that I paid for it, is not bad considering the materials that you get with this tent. The overall form factor isn't bad, but the weight is a little bit heavy once you throw in the pole that you have to bring with you to set this up. Now I have to mention this everyone, as I was getting all of my details together to film this episode, I did come across numerous reviews for this tent. Apparently it's been out for a while. I didn't realize it. The majority of the reviews for this tent are bad. They're not good. Time and time again, I saw reports of this tent leaking. Time and time again, I saw reports of this tent having terrible airflow, terrible issues of condensation, which makes sense. This is a single wall tent. Single wall tents will have issues with condensation and there's no way around it. All tents can have issues when it comes to condensation. It's all about the design of the tent, whether or not it's a big issue, a big problem. With a tent like this, there's no escaping the moisture. Moisture begins to form on the walls and it has no place to go but inside of the tent. And that's not the case with all tent designs. When you have a double wall tent, that moisture is on the outside of the body and oftentimes will run down the fly onto the ground. With a tent like this, the moisture is not going to leave the tent. It's going to fall right inside of it. The issues with it leaking, I will test out very soon. We will get this out into the rain and see how well it performs. If it does good, I'll say so. If it does bad, I'll say so. We will learn how it performs together coming up soon. For now, everyone, I am done talking about this tent. So make sure to sound off in the comment section down below. Make sure to tell me what you all think about the Alps Mountaineering Trail TP Tent 2. Before you go, hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon, on YouTube. You can join the Wolf Pack. You can join the family. The channel is agenda free. I'm not trying to sell this product. I don't care if you buy anything that you see me use here on the channel. That's not what this channel is about. This channel is about information and that's it. All right, I'm done. See you all soon. Take care, be well, strength and honor.